In the age of Grand Theft Auto dominating the open world market, many companies tried their best to create similar games of their own. Most of them were called Grand Theft Auto clones, because they lacked originality and just had open world crime, and only very few managed to turn it into a franchise with multiple sequels. Mafia is one of those glorious exceptions, as the first and the second games were very well received thanks to their compelling storyline, beautifully crafted cities and fun gameplay that was true to the Italian Mafia vibe. When a third game was announced, every fan was excited to see where the story takes us this time, and how well the gameplay takes advantage of the modern day hardware since this was the first true 8th generation entry in the series. Unfortunately, Mafia 3 ended up being a game riddled with problems at launch, and even after it became unstable, it wasn't as interesting as the previous games due to the numerous reasons. Fortunately, Mafia 4 is officially confirmed to be in a development, and 2K Games have announced that they were expecting it in the next few years. So with a new game on the way and currently in the development, it's a great time to talk about what my future wishlist for the Mafia 4 is. Everything that should be included and improved, especially since this all new generation of consoles have already begun. One of the biggest complaints that people have for video games today is that even though that they feature very large open worlds, they are mostly filled with repetitive missions and collectibles rather than actual life or their substance. Ubisoft games are the greatest offender in this department, as their games are often mocked in the community for having large empty game worlds that are only feature repetitive quests and not much else. Mafia 3 has been criticized for this too, as its side missions felt like filler content and too similar of each other. And things like finding collectibles is not creative either, which makes it feel like a chore. So the number one thing that Mafia 4 needs to get right is that its open world should feel like a real place. Size is not the only thing that a good modern day open world needs, because we can see Grand Theft Auto San Andreas as a great example. The world of that game wasn't exactly small, but it had so much more to player to do that it felt like larger than life in all of our memories. So irrespective of size, the open world of the game should feel like it has life in it, realistic NPCs, interiors, that are not just closed doors, but things that you can visit and perhaps even activities like drinking or gambling in. On top of that, we need better side activities spread throughout the game. Inspirations can be taken by the older Grand Theft Auto games, as they used to have creatively hidden easter eggs, collectibles, and tons of random yet addictive side activities, such as their paramedic and vigilante missions. And of course, things like exhorting and robbing establishments are something that fits the Mafia vibe too. The bottom line is, Add as much content as you want, but make it have meaning and entertainment. And if this is not possible with a larger game world, then it's okay to have something smaller and feel more alive and passionately designed. Making games too easy is never a good thing, but keeping a design outdated is always a bad idea. One of the best things that Grand Theft Auto V has done is that it improved several annoying things about the franchise that has been wasting time of players since forever. For example, the fact that you had to drive all the way back to complete tasks that you failed was there in every Grand Theft Auto, but the fifth game fixed that by adding checkpoints. Mafia 3 still forced players to often go on long drives to repeat failed tasks. So quality of life improvements that remove things that are a waste of time will be the great way forward for Mafia 4. Mafia 3 may be more stable today than it was originally, but it's still disliked by the community for how broken it was at launch. There are many graphics bugs that broke the immersion for the fans, and there were gameplay issues too that made it difficult for players to get through the basic tasks. And of course the AI of the game needs to be good too this time around, because nothing makes a game more annoying than companion or an enemy AI that fails to feel realistic. It's completely anti-immersion and needs to be done right. 
Lastly, the thing that like shooting and driving should be the top priority because it's very easy to mess up those things. Enemies should not be bullet sponges and they shouldn't have weird hit detection either and driving should feel smooth regardless of how physics work. Because that's something that makes traversal annoying is in recent games, with Saint Row reboot being an example where every vehicle feels not that good to drive. With a polished launch, not only will the game make a great impression and get tons of sales, but it will also make long-time fans very happy as their own redemption after the clunky launch of the Mafia 3. It's not a bad thing to expand the world of the story that you're writing. And that's what Mafia 3 tried to do by making story less organic to the Italian Mafia setting. However, some of the best moments from the previous games happen in the dynamic of characters like Vito and Joe, which were undoubtedly the highlights of Mafia 2. And people love seeing Vito in the third game as well. So one thing that everyone in the community can agree on is that Mafia 4 needs a storyline that focuses more on the characters that we know and love from the previous games. Especially with Vito having a large involvement. It's not wrong to add new characters that are less related to the core cast of the series, but they shouldn't be the main focus while the OGs are pushed away. Hopefully 2K Games have looked at the negative feedback that Mafia 3 story diversion received and will be using a script that feels more at home going forward. The soundtrack of Mafia 3 is one of the things that fans really enjoyed, despite the gameplay receiving a mixed reaction. It fits the atmosphere and time period of the game and was nice to listen to, especially since a lot of your time in the game was spent driving cars. So I truly hope 2K Games does not try to distance itself from the game too hard and does keep what was great about the game. I'm hoping for Mafia 4's soundtrack to be as good as the third game too and hopefully will receive tons of great songs to listen to for whatever the period of Mafia 4 is set in. More and more games seem to be going for the RPG route, even if it doesn't fit the type of the gameplay uh, that the franchise should have, especially that they're open world games. And if RPG elements aren't added directly, things like making the enemies bullet spongy are still there, which takes the fun out of the realistic crime game. So it's definitely one of the things that I wish for the Mafia 4 should not get any kind of RPG additions, and killing enemies should still feel smooth as ever. Random things like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas are fine, like changing the weight of the characters or the stamina, but nothing more than that should be implemented. Mafia 4 can be set in several different periods of time and all of them can bring something exciting to the table. But there are some options that would work great both in terms of the city and time. For example, on top of the list is 70s Vegas. No game has properly captured the feel of the questionable gambling rackets, addicting slot machines, a beautiful city of lights, and fast cars. Combine that with a nice 70s soundtrack and we'd have a great setting to play in. Especially since the story can deal with the mafia expanding into the territory and taking it over. Sure, a few games have included copies of Vegas as additional parts of the maps, but it just hasn't been done in the right way yet, and with the power of the 9th generation consoles, something truly amazing can be achieved. The 9th generation of gaming is one of the very few times where the consoles are caught up with PC in terms of the power and the visual fidelity. So Mafia 4 should make use of this greatness and deliver 4K visuals with beautifully implemented ray tracing on both consoles and the PC platform, which would be a visual delight for us all to see. Mafia 4 honestly has the potential to be the great competitor to the upcoming Grand Theft Auto 6, so let's hope that potential is put to use and Mafia 4 is truly a game that feels like a big challenge to other open world games that are based on crime. The 
life of the most games these days is prolonged by a story DLC that adds more value. But it should never come at the cost of the main game, having less content. Instead, it should be additional stuff that gives us more reasons to put the disc back in and go for a ride. So a DLC that has players revisiting Lost Heaven and Empire Bay would be a great way to take us back to the roots of the game, while still keeping the non-DLC missions of the game focused on the new location with no filler content. There are things that I wish to see from Mafia 4. I think that the majority of the fans would want the same thing as me, because this is exactly what would make Mafia 4 feel more like the first two games, but also evolve into something even greater with the right amount of the modern day additions. 2K if you're listening, remember that it's more important to have fun than it is to have scale. The game doesn't need to have 40 hours with filler and it doesn't need an empty open world. So make something fun, even if it's a bit smaller, and we'll talk with our wallets. Everything aside, I'm excited and can't wait to see what Mafia 4 has in store for us. Alright, well, I wanted to mention that I've got a Patreon, and if you wish to support me, please do consider. Also, do check out the rest of my special videos in a separate playlist. I will leave all the links down in the description. And thank you for all watching this video, like and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.